Long story short, we raised over $8,000 for a little girl who needed heart surgery, and the family of that little girl uh, decided that they would rather deal with the bills than deal with you guys. So it's super tragic. Like, we raised so much money for this little girl, and it didn't go through. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be, as the title suggests, another video on the YouTuber we've all come to know and dislike. But for this video, we are going to take a look at the manipulative side of Anision. We've covered his cringy antics pretty well, and now I want to look at just how manipulative he can be. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, I'm glad you're here. If you like the video, subscribe, why don't you? And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm glad to see your beautiful smiling face. Hold up, hold up, Anision alert. Greg just uploaded a video that's so cringy, we need to cut to it. Yeah. Are you enjoying your all night, sweetie? Honey, do you think I'll be just like all my dumb day? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry I had to expose you all to those lethal levels of cringe. Please forgive me. Back to the video though, Greg is a true expert at manipulating or attempting to manipulate people. The video Anision uploaded a few weeks ago entitled, I'm no longer married and Anision is going Patreon only, is a prime example and here's why. If you recall, Greg said in that video that pretty much all of YouTube and his haters are responsible for ruining his personality, if he really had much one to begin with, and that future videos where he displays his true comedy slash, well, cringe, would be Patreon only. Once Greg or Anision realized that that little scare tactic didn't work because let's be honest, why would anyone pay to watch someone humiliate themselves unless you're into that? You know, you do you, do you. I'm not going to judge. He then made his comedy cringe on his channel free of charge. How generous of him. Greg makes idle threats and when he realized that no one gives a shit, he backs down on them and he continues to make cringe content for all the world to see. Greg is also no stranger to playing the victim. If you recall from that same video, Greg blames all of us for his problems and that we are solely responsible for ruining his comedy bits. The entire video is nothing but a self-induced guilt trip aimed at making us feel bad for him and to beg him to stay on YouTube free of charge. Now, I was on Anision's Twitter, which now goes under the handle of Emo Charlie, and there are a couple people who give him positive feedback and do seem to like his videos. There is a Twitter user who I'm not going to identify because she appears to be a teenager, and she always gives Greg positive feedback and comments on every single one of his tweets. It doesn't matter what it's about. One tweet, she said that she wished she had money so she could subscribe to him through his Patreon so she could get the Patreon content. Now, if Greg isn't really in this for the money and he just likes making content for his fans to enjoy, he didn't even respond to that girl, so he doesn't give a shit about her. I was kind of shocked and even surprised that even Anision would ignore someone who constantly gives him positive feedback and even says, I wish I had money so I could be a Patreon to watch your exclusive content. He never even replied to her. And to me, that's just, you know, that's a new low for Greg. You know, if I were Greg, even though I couldn't fathom ever being him, and I had someone say, man, you know what? I really wish I could watch you, but I just don't have the money. Just give the girl access to your content. She is one of the true few fans that you have, and this just goes to show that you only care about money and not the few fans that you have. I wish I could say that video was the only recent example of how manipulative Greg is. Unfortunately, I can't say that, as Greg has uploaded a video titled Really Sad News. Greg explains how he won't be putting his name on any charitable event or donation page because it gets reported and it's all our fault. Greg implies that we are all to blame for a young girl not getting medical treatment, and how we should all feel like horrible human beings. The comments on his own video give a rational explanation as to why the fundraiser he supported was shut down. Essentially, the fundraiser he was promoting was found to most likely be a fraudulent scam, and few people point out that the fact money was refunded shows it was a scam. Most people agree this fundraiser, which Inision promoted, was a scam, which did actually in fact draw law enforcement, and that it was rightfully shut down. So what does Greg do? Instead of apologizing and owning up to the fact he misled people, he blasts his own audience and says because of us and our own narcissism, yeah, he actually said that, that he will no longer help people. If your blood pressure is at a good level and you aren't stressed out right now, go watch the video. I don't encourage it because I don't want to be held responsible for any rage-induced fits of anger you may experience at the end, but, you know, be warned. See guys, I do care about your well-being. I could go on and on about how manipulative Greg is, but I want to highlight his most recent guilt trips to keep this as fresh as possible. As always, I'll be keeping an eye on good old Greg so you don't have to, and bring you the latest cringe and guilt trips he has to offer. He hasn't copyright struck me yet, but when he does, 
I'll make a video blaming you all and how you were supposed to protect me from him. Now see, that sounds kind of crappy when you employ the Anision logic when your videos fail or you run out of cringe material that not even a toddler would giggle at. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. I have a ton of new content coming your way, so make sure the bell is on so you don't miss any of it. Also, if you are on Twitter and want to follow me, I greatly appreciate it. You can tweet at me for some video ideas you'd like to see me work on, or any comments in general. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.